Tekton's aggregation engine is a distributed computation framework for incrementally building aggregated features from raw event data. Aggregation features are derived by calculating metrics over a window of time, such as averages, counts, and max-min values. The aggregation time window defines the period over which data is grouped and aggregated to produce features. In the following example, you can observe how the aggregated sum evolves as a two-day window shifts over time. There are two primary attributes that can be used to describe a time window. Window boundaries, which describe the start and end limits of the time window, and window movement, which describes how the time window shifts or moves over time. There are three kinds of window boundaries. The first one is fixed time window. This is a window of fixed length that stretches backwards from a given timestamp. This is useful for calculating aggregations over a constant time span. In this example, we use a fixed time window of two days. You can optionally apply an offset to shift the window's position relative to the query timestamp using the offset parameter. For example, here we have a two-day window with an offset of minus one day. This will move the window to start one day earlier than the query timestamp. A lifetime window is a flexible length time window that stretches from the query timestamp back to a specific starting point in the past. It allows you to aggregate features across the entire available history of a data set, rather than a fixed length time period. In Tekton, you configure a lifetime window using the lifetime window class. The lifetime start time parameter on a batch or stream feature view defines when this window begins. In this example, we have set the lifetime start time today zero. You can see how the lifetime window grows from day zero to the current query timestamp. The next type of window boundary is a time window series. A time window series consists of multiple time windows spanning a range of time relative to the query timestamp. Instead of a single window, this series breaks the range into smaller windows, allowing you to retrieve aggregated values across each of these smaller windows for a more granular analysis. This can be useful for computing aggregations over smaller windows within a larger time frame, like getting weekly averages over the course of a month. Let's take the example of a query made on day six. You can describe a time window series using the following parameters. Series start specifies the start of the series of windows, and series end specifies the end. Here we have a six-day time range that starts six days before the query time and ends at the query time. The interval between series start and series end specifies the time range of the series. Window size specifies the size of each smaller window in the series. Here we would like two day windows over our six day time range. Step size is the interval by which the time windows step forward in the series. By default, this is the same as window size. You can express a smaller step size if you'd like to express a series of overlapping windows. Window movement describes how the time window shifts or moves over time. Depending on the kind of feature view you use and how frequently it's updated in the online store, your aggregation window will move in a different manner. The first kind of movement is a sliding window. A sliding window is a type of windowing mechanism where the window moves forward continuously over time, capturing real-time data in a dynamic way. The window slides along the timeline, meaning that it constantly shifts as new data arrives. And at any given moment, it includes the most recent data points based on the specified window duration. This approach helps maintain high data freshness, as the window always captures the latest events up to the moment of the query, making it ideal for real-time use cases. A hopping window moves forward in fixed intervals, creating non-overlapping or partially overlapping windows. Each window aggregates data over a fixed duration and advances at regular steps, such as every one hour. While hopping windows may introduce a slight delay in data freshness due to these periodic updates, they can be more performant than sliding windows because data can be processed in partially aggregated tiles, reducing computational load. When a query is made, we can take these pre-aggregated tiles and combine them to generate the fully aggregated value for the desired time period. Since much of the computation is done beforehand during tile creation, query time performance can be much faster. A sawtooth window combines the properties of both sliding and hopping windows. The leading edge of the window moves continuously like a sliding window, providing fresh data at the query time. However, the trailing edge moves in fixed intervals like a hopping window, meaning the window's width is not constant. This results in a window that grows incrementally and then resets when the trailing edge hops forward. The alternating movement between continuous updates at the leading edge and periodic jumps at the trailing edge creates a sawtooth pattern, 
where the window is not of a fixed size, but rather expands and contracts slightly as time progresses. Sawtooth windows offer the computational efficiency of hopping windows while maintaining near real-time freshness similar to sliding windows. The trade-off is a small degree of fuzziness in the window's width, meaning the exact time span aggregated may vary slightly, which is often acceptable in AI applications. Next, we will look at how to define an aggregation using the Tekton SDK. You can use the aggregate feature type to define aggregate features in Tekton. Each aggregate requires three fields. First, the input column that specifies the field that needs to be aggregated. Next, the time window to aggregate the values over. This specifies the window boundary of the aggregation and can be a sliding window, lifetime window, or a time window series. And finally, the aggregation function to be applied on the values. Tekton's aggregation engine supports the following aggregations out of the box. Next, we will explore how different types of Tekton feature views and their configurations affect the movement of time windows and its resulting impact on data freshness and performance. We will first look at batch feature views. Batch feature views aggregate and materialize data at regular intervals, defined by the aggregation interval parameter. This interval determines the size of each tile generated for partial aggregations. Let's take the example of a batch feature view with a one-day aggregation interval. Each aggregation interval, Tekton schedules a materialization job that generates partially aggregated tiles. At query time, these pre-computed tiles are combined to provide efficient and fast lookups. Because the time window advances in fixed steps according to the aggregation interval, the aggregation window for batch feature views follow hopping window semantics. The window hops forward at each interval, allowing for efficient batch processing using partially aggregated tiles while ensuring periodic updates. When handling aggregations with large time windows, such as lifetime aggregations, Tekton provides an efficient way to compute and serve data through compaction jobs. These jobs enable efficient aggregations over large time windows by compacting historical data into larger optimized tiles. To enable compaction, you can set the compaction enabled parameter of a batch feature view to true. Let's take an example of a sum aggregation with a lifetime window. Once enabled, Tekton will run compaction jobs on a predefined schedule, typically daily. During each job, a batch process reads the entire range of data for the aggregation window from the offline store, performs the necessary aggregations, and updates the compacted tile in the online store for each entity. This process ensures efficient query time performance, even when dealing with very large windows or entities with a high volume of events. Thanks to the compaction, querying these aggregations has a constant time complexity, significantly improving performance for lifetime data. There are three possible aggregation strategies for stream feature views. Continuous mode that has sliding window movement, time interval mode that has hopping window movement, and compaction mode that has sawtooth window movement. We will first learn about continuous mode stream feature views. You can configure your stream feature view to use continuous mode using the stream processing mode parameter. In continuous stream processing, data is processed in real time using a sliding window that moves forward with each incoming event. This mode ensures that the data is always up to date, but instead of pre-computing tiles, Tekton stores every transformed event in the online store and performs full aggregations at query time. Aggregations using continuous mode have high freshness due to the continuously sliding window but read time performance can be slower compared to pre-aggregated approaches since there are no pre-computed tiles to rely on. Additionally, this mode can lead to higher infrastructure costs due to more frequent feature writes and checkpoint updates. The next stream aggregation strategy is time interval mode. Using the time interval mode, Tekton changes how feature values are processed and stored by introducing hopping window semantics with fixed time intervals. Unlike continuous mode, where each event is immediately written to the online store, Tekton creates tiles for specific time intervals, reducing the frequency of writes and improving efficiency. The aggregation interval parameter defines the size of these tiles and how often the window advances. Let's look at an example with a one-day aggregation interval. As Tekton receives new stream events, a stateful stream processor will store each incoming event. Tekton will create a new tile in the online store and shift the time window for the latest aggregation value only after the aggregation interval has elapsed, assuming there was at least one event for the entity within that interval.
If no events occur for an entity during a given interval, no tile is created or written. Optimizing storage and performance. At query time, Tekton reads all partial aggregations or tiles created within the time window for the requested entity and computes the final aggregated feature value. The number of tiles read corresponds to the number of non-zero partial aggregations for that entity in the window. This mode is more performant than continuous mode since it can take advantage of the partial tiles during reads and can be more cost-effective due to a lower number of writes to the online store. It's especially useful if your model can tolerate slightly delayed feature updates. To combine the freshness benefits of a sliding window with the performance efficiency of a hopping window, you can enable compaction on your stream feature views. This creates a hybrid approach using sawtooth window movement. As we saw earlier in the batch feature view case, when compaction is enabled, Tekton runs periodic compaction jobs that aggregates data from the offline store into compacted tiles stored in the online store. However, unlike in batch feature views with compaction where only large tiles are created, stream feature views create both a large tile and a small number of sawtooth tiles at the trailing edge or the oldest part of the window. The larger tile represents the bulk of the data, aggregating events from the majority of the time window. This enables efficient reads without needing to process individual events over that period. Sawtooth tiles are small tiles that cover more granular time periods at the trailing edge of the window. For example, in a 30-day window, Tekton may create a large compacted tile for the first 26 days and smaller one-hour sawtooth tiles for the last four days. As time progresses between compaction jobs, fresh data is continuously ingested from new stream events at the leading edge of the window. These are processed immediately as they arrive, providing the freshest data for the leading edge of the time window. Let's assume we're using a 14-day time window for our aggregation. When we make a query to the online store, Tekton will combine the most recent real-time events that have not yet been compacted into tiles with the large compacted tile and smaller sawtooth tiles. The leading edge of the window is continuously updated with real-time events and is always the same as the query time. While we would like the trailing edge to also slide continuously to give us an exact 14-day window, the trailing edge hops at fixed intervals due to the sawtooth tiles. The exact boundaries of the aggregation window can therefore vary slightly with each query. This variance is referred to as fuzziness. The size of the sawtooth tiles is determined based on the overall window size, with Tekton ensuring that the fuzziness remains below 10% of the window size. This balance between small tiles at the tail and large tiles for most of the data helps maximize both performance and storage efficiency without sacrificing data quality and freshness. The sawtooth tiles help provide near real-time freshness, while the larger compacted tile offers efficient reads for the majority of the window. This approach, however, could still be inefficient for hotkeys with a very high volume of events, since we need to aggregate untiled raw event data at the leading edge. In such cases involving hotkeys, reading and aggregating even 24 hours worth of stream data can result in poor performance. To address this, Tekton introduces a technique called stream tiling. When stream tiling is enabled, Tekton also compacts the incoming stream data that is written to the online store. Instead of writing each individual stream event directly to the online store, Tekton uses stateful stream processors to pre-aggregate this data into manageable tiles. This dramatically improves performance, reducing the worst case retrieval and storage complexity per key from O of N to O of 1. Tekton automatically determines the appropriate stream tile interval based on the smallest aggregation window among all columns in the feature view. However, there is a trade-off. Stream tiling introduces a slight reduction in data freshness due to micro-batching, meaning updates are not as immediate as in continuous stream processing. For this reason, stream tiling is best suited for use cases where real-time freshness is less critical, but efficiency and performance are paramount. We hope this video helped you understand the various aggregation concepts and flexibility the Tekton Aggregation Engine provides to fit a diverse set of use cases. For more details, be sure to check out our documentation and reference. Happy building!